So, if you are thinking about buying a house in Breezy Point, Minnesota, better uh, stop right there. Hey there, YouTube friends. Noah Gedker here, back with a, another video to share some valuable insight with you. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that might be a little controversial for some folks, but I believe in giving the absolute unfiltered truth, so buckle up and get ready because we're going to be diving into... Uh, why you should think twice before moving to Breezy Point, Minnesota. This channel is all about living in the Brainerd Lakes area, moving to and relocating here. So we showcase the street level view of what living in the lake area here in central Minnesota is all about the good the bad and the ugly so tap that bell for notifications that way you're going to be the first to learn about you know, all that's happening here in the lakes area my name is noah gedker i am a real estate agent with exp realty i get calls text emails from people just like you looking to make your move to lakes area and i absolutely love it so if you are moving today or next year feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, send an email. I'd absolutely love to help you make your move to the lakes area, smooth sailing. Now, before I dive into the reasons why you should reconsider moving to Breezy Point, let me be clear. I am no way trying to bash Breezy Point or anyone who lives here. Breezy Point certainly has its charm, but there are some aspects that you need to be aware of, especially if you're considering a long-term move. So let's get right into it. All right, reason number one, high seasonal traffic. Now, if you enjoy a peaceful and serene environment, Breezy Point might not be the place for you. During peak seasons, such as summer and holidays, this town can experience quite a significant influx of tourists. So uh, let me tell you, the traffic can be pretty nightmarish. Uh, crowded roads, streets, constant flow of people everywhere you go. Uh, you know, here we are in the middle of the week, so it's so Wednesday, it's pretty quiet. On Wednesday, middle of the week, you know, it's, it's quiet. It, that's the time. If you can come up during the week, great. On the weekends, it gets pretty busy, especially, you know, the intersection that I'm at right now. This is uh, the intersection of County Road 11 where uh, you, head, you head west, uh, you'll run into Pequot Lakes. If you head north, you'll go to Cross Lake, and if you go south, you'll hit Merrifield and then Brainerd. So, uh, a great location. Um, yeah, if you uh, if you're looking to move here, just know that there's during the summer on weekends it's going to be busy with traffic. Uh, but the great news is midweek. You know, uh, if you can if you can get through the weekend during the week, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. So just want you to be aware of the traffic situation here and breezy points. All right, reason number two uh, would be lack of high paying jobs here. Uh, the main industries obviously are gonna be uh, tourism and uh, tourism and, and retail, but you know, really just tourism because there's not actually not much retail. Um, but yeah, breezy point resort would be, you know, the large, you know, portion of the tourism business. So. You know, if you live in Breezy Point and work here, you probably work for Breezy Point Resorts or to some capacity or one of the uh, one of the golf courses here. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of career options here. Uh, the best bet really is, you know, if you work from home or have the capacity to work from home or if you offer a professional service or, a, or in one of the trades, you know, there's a lot of growth, homes being built in the area, people moving here. So that would be a tremendous opportunity um, for a career as well. In the trades, professional services, or um, if you work from home, those would all be great options um, as opposed to, to, otherwise tourism is kind of the main thing and there's a limit on, on career growth typically in that, that field. All right, reason number three, bad weather. Now let's be real. Minnesota is known for its harsh winters and Breezy Point is no exception. So if you are not a fan of frigid temperatures, you know, single digits, negative temperatures, 
heavy snowfall, like 40, 50, 60, even this year, last year, 80 inches of snow. The Breezy Point may not be your cup of tea, but then again, neither should really anywhere in Minnesota. Uh, you, you can certainly take a look at our previous Breezy Point video and see all the upsides of Breezy Point. Uh, but the reality is you have to deal with weather in Minnesota um, and just, you know, just get a real understanding of what the weather is like and it will affect um, just how you live. The, the winter, you got to deal with snow, ice, very cold temperatures, and you have to adjust your lifestyle based on that. So just know that to be the case and be prepared um, to deal with the, with the weather. So. Uh, just like you will have to really anywhere you move to um, there's just different challenges here compared to uh, what you might have somewhere else all right moving on to reason number four is the lack of retail and restaurant options in breezy point you know it's a small town there's going to be a lack of options for restaurants uh, mostly it's going to be um, you know you're not going to have any quick service fast service um, restaurants here um, there's a few uh, dining options, but not much. Um, now they're great restaurants, don't get me wrong, but not a lot of options. And retail, there's really no retail to speak of. Uh, you know, people are coming up here for this, not for retail. Uh, but luckily, uh, not too far away, Brainerd, Baxter, um, Niswa, there's a lot more restaurants, a lot more retail. If you want any of the big box retail, that's gonna be in Baxter. Um, you know, as far as Home Depot, Menards, Costco, Target, Walmart, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of great options all throughout the lakes area. There's just not, not a lot here specifically in Breezy Point. Um, so if that's important for those things to be close by, Breezy Point, not going to be a great fit for you, but there may be another community in the Brainerd Lakes area that could be a good fit for you. Uh, that's why I would encourage you to reach out and get more information on the lakes area and different neighborhoods. That way we can help uh, you decide where it would be the right fit for you. All right, lastly, reason number five is the rising house prices in Breezy. So while Breezy Point may have been an affordable, really affordable place to live in the past, that's starting to change. The housing market has been certainly on the rise the last few years. And the median sale price has gone from 235000 three years ago to 390000 Great news is that it's certainly still lower than the national average, um, about, about 437,000. Um, but there's some challenges uh, to, um, you know, the affordability of home, the availability and the inventory of homes in Breezy Point. Uh, so that's causing causing the prices to go up. And there's been a, you know, a great uh, demand to move here. Of course, the uh, higher traffic, high, you know, higher prices of homes, uh, just the new construction just can't really keep up right now um so if you have a really tight budget you know while breezy point has historically been a pretty good place to find a nice good size home on a lower budget um it's getting to be a little more difficult but that's why we always encourage you to connect with us uh figure out what it is that you're looking for what your budget is and we can certainly um, more than likely help you find what you're looking for it may not be in Breezy Point. It might be just depending on what your tastes are and what your needs are. So there you have it. While Breezy Point may have its appeal, it is absolutely essential to consider these factors before making a decision to move here. High seasonal traffic, lack of high paying job opportunities, challenging weather, limited retail, different retail restaurant options, you know, the rising housing prices, are all very important aspects to weigh before committing to a long-term stay, a long-term move here. As always, I encourage you to do your thorough research, make a visit before, you, before making any major decisions. And remember, what might be right for some people might not be the best fit for you. And again, whether you're looking to move next week or next year, feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, send, a, send an email. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.